thing, depends on when you're watching, but the important thing is you're here and you're gonna see some fun crock pot recipes that I tried today. And I will definitely show you some really cool, delicious things to try. Now, I wanted to first start off by saying, my name is Sarah and I am a mom to nine-year-old twins and I'm happily married. And in almost all of my videos, you will hear and most likely see a four-legged beggar hound dog named Opie. But let's get to business. So today is another Saturday. Me, I am the first one. I'm gonna post my crock pot, crocktober video early Saturday morning. And then whoever would like to participate along with me, just go ahead and comment on this video, letting me know that your video is ready to add to the playlist. And we will get it all set up for you. Last week we did it and we had such a great turnout. And I hope you enjoy this week's Crocktober videos. All right guys, so today we are making zesty barbecue crockpot chicken. And I don't know if my kids are gonna like this recipe or heck, even if I will, but I wanted to give it a try because it sounded really good. And I had all the ingredients on hand. So all you need is chicken breast. The recipe calls for three to four chicken breasts, but I have like one huge one and that'll be plenty for all of us to try it. Um, you need Worcestershire sauce. You're supposed to use creamy Italian. I just have regular Italian. I'm oh, sure it'll be fine. And barbecue sauce and a little bit of light brown sugar. So let's go toss that all in the crock pot and get it cooking. All right, let's get all this dumped in. So I have my chicken. I don't want to touch it again. That's perfect. And then it calls for two tablespoons of Worcestershire, but since I'm not doing like four, three or four chicken breasts, I'm just gonna do a couple shakes. Who doesn't love Worcestershire sauce or however you say it. That's just how I always grew up saying it. All right, and then it said to do a three fourths cup Italian dressing. So I'm gonna eyeball that a little bit. How could you go wrong? It smells so good, I love Italian. All right, then it also calls for a whole bottle of barbecue sauce. That would be a little crazy for one chicken breast, so I'm just gonna kinda pour a good bit. And then I'm gonna save some for later. Now our favorite um, barbecue sauce is Sweet Baby Ray's, and my particular favorite is the Sweet Vidalia Onion, but everything Sweet Baby Ray's makes is incredible. Try it. Okay, and then it also calls for two tablespoons of, or no, a fourth cup of brown sugar. So I'm just gonna do like maybe two tablespoons because you know, maybe even a little bit less. So it's supposed to be zesty Italian barbecue chicken. We'll see. So that's what it looks like now. I might take a spoon here and kind of break up the brown sugar. Make sure get all that sauce gets underneath it and all around. I probably should have mixed all these sauces before I put my chicken in, but you know, it's my kitchen. I do what I want. <laughs> all right, so now our chicken is swimming in the delicious juices. And now we're gonna turn this on. I'm gonna do high for about three hours or so, I think. We'll try it and we'll come check on it and we'll see how it looks. All right, it is time for shout outs for everybody that participated in last week's Crocktober. So let me look over and read over the good list. We have Swanson's Crew, Heather's Homestyle Living, Leanne's Life, The Hodgepodge Life of Jesse, Tiffany Smedley, If the Creek Don't Rise, Life with Sheila, At Home with Lynn Wilson, and Rachel Connolly. Thank you so much everyone for participating and I look forward to seeing what everyone makes today. Slow cooker cream cheese taco dip.
All right, so we have our beef all ground up, or browned up, yeah, you know I mean. Uh, we are going to add some salsa to our crock pot, and I'm using my tiny little crock pot because it's a dip, and mostly just two of us are gonna eat it. Maybe the other two of us will try it, but being lots of theory in it, we're not gonna eat too much of it. But really wanted to try this recipe because it sounds super tasty, and I feel like it'd be really good dip to bring to like parties. So we did some salsa. We're gonna dip, dump this whole brick of cream cheese in. Salsa spoon. Okay. That done. Then it calls for quite a bit of cheese, cheddar cheese. I have a ton of these white cheddar slices that I'm just gonna kind of, I don't know, crumble up and toss in. I, know, I think it was like two cups, but you can put as much cheese as you like, or as little as you like, you know what I mean? So, let's crumble that in. And if, you know, everyone tries it and they think it's not cheesy enough, you can obviously toss them in at the end, too. So we are going to get all this cheese in, the cream cheese, the salsa. We already did the taco seasoning in the meat. Um, so all we need to do is Get our meat in here and then turn it on to low for two hours and come back ready with chips. So I'm in it for that. Super quick, easy recipe. Let's get some of this ground beef. Now I'm only using a half a pound of ground beef in this recipe. Like I said, we're starting with a small crock. And then we're gonna have tacos for the other people who don't eat dairy like myself. So, just do kind of half and half. Make the cheese eaters happy, and the non-cheaters eaters happy. I was gonna say cheaters, but that's not what I meant. All right. Now we got this all in, and I mean, you can't really mix it too much now because the brick of cheddar's hard. So I am just gonna toss the lid on this and come back in probably an hour, and then see if I can get it all stirred up and go from there. We'll check on it again after the two hour mark and hopefully dive in. So here is our finished products. Um, I have just, I sampled some of the um, zesty barbecue chicken earlier and it was amazing. Um, and the taco cream cheese dip um, is also so good. So I made up another plate to snack on and then let the kids try it and see what they think. But everything looks good and tastes super good.